Welcome to Bladed Tech's 48th short for space exploration, science, and technology. NASA's second operational SpaceX commercial crew mission to the International Space Station, Crew-2, is now official. April 20th is the date for which the launch window will open. NASA astronauts Shane Kimbrough and Megan MacArthur will be the commander and pilot on Dragon 2 C-206, respectively, with JAXA astronaut Akihiko Hoshida and ESA astronaut Thomas Pisquet on board as mission specialists. The four will replace the Crew-1 astronauts who flew to the station on November 16, 2020. NASA astronauts Michael Hopkins, Victor Glover, and Shannon Walker, and JAXA astronaut Soichi Noguchi will return in Dragon 2 C-207 within a month of the Crew-2 docking. NASA had earlier announced a beginning launch window for Crew-2 of March 30th. However, the agency delayed the mission to allow for the uncrewed Orbital Flight Test 2 mission by Boeing CST-1000 Starliner commercial crew vehicle. That capsule is expected to launch no earlier than March 25th for an approximately one-week mission in which it is to dock with the ISS. Both Starliner and Crew Dragon dock to one of two ports on the station, one of which is occupied by the Crew-1 Crew Dragon spacecraft. The shift of the Crew-2 launch also accommodates the Roscosmos Soyuz MS-18 manned mission to the ISS, scheduled to launch around April 10th. It will bring three Russian cosmonauts to the station to relieve Russian cosmonauts Sergei Rizikov and Sergei Kudsverchikov and NASA astronaut Kate Rubins. Those three will return in the MS-17 capsule a week later. Twelve spacecraft are scheduled to visit the ISS for the rest of 2021. Nine will be commissioned by NASA and three by Roscosmos. Up to three of NASA's missions will feature Boeing's commercial crew program. Roscosmos is planning on launching the Progress MS-1677 p freighter to the ISS from the Baikonur Cosmodrome on February 14th. The flight was originally scheduled for December 11th, 2020. On February 20th, a Northrop Grumman Antares rocket will launch the 16th Cygnus cargo freighter on the 15th operational cargo delivery flight to the International Space Station. On March 25th, the United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket will launch Boeing CST-1000 Starliner spacecraft, serial number two, on a second unpiloted test flight. This mission was added after Boeing's decision to refly the Starliner's orbital flight test before proceeding with the crew flight test. The rocket will fly in a vehicle configuration with two solid rocket boosters and a dual-engine Centaur upper stage. It is likely some freight will be carried in the capsule. The aforementioned Roscosmos MS-18 mission will occur on April 10, 2021. The capsule will remain at station for about six months, providing an escape pod for the residents. The aforementioned Crew-2 mission will occur on April 20th. It will involve the first reuse of a manned U.S. spacecraft since the STS-135 flight of Shuttle Atlantis in 2011, which was its 33rd mission. The entire shuttle fleet was retired after STS-135 returned to Earth. On May 12th, a SpaceX Falcon 9 will launch the Dragon 2 spacecraft used in the December 2020 CRS-21 flight on its second cargo resupply mission to the International Space Station. The flight is the 22nd mission by SpaceX conducted under a commercial resupply services contract with NASA and the second under the CRS-2 contract. On or about July 2021, Roscosmos is planning on launching the Progress 78P freighter to the ISS from the Baikonur Cosmodrome. On August 12th, a SpaceX Falcon 9 will launch the Dragon 2 Crew-3 manned mission to the International Space Station. It will be SpaceX's third operational flight Crew-3 will carry NASA astronauts Thomas Marshbaum, Raja Chari, Kayla Barron, and ESA astronaut Matthias Maurer. The capsule will also carry about 220 pounds of cargo and function as an emergency escape capsule during its time docked at the station. Also in August of 2021, the SpaceX Falcon 9 will launch a Dragon 2 freighter variant on the CRS-23 resupply mission to the International Space Station. It will be the third flight under the CRS-2 contract. In September of 2021, the United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket will launch Boeing CST-1000 Starliner spacecraft on its first mission with astronauts, known as the Crew Test Flight, to the International Space Station. The capsule will dock with the space station, then return to Earth to land in the western United States. NASA astronauts Mike Finke, Barry Willmore, and Nicole Mann will fly on the crew flight test. In November 2021, the United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket will launch Boeing CST-1000 Starliner spacecraft on its first manned operational mission, known as Starliner 1, to the International Space Station. NASA astronauts Sunita Williams, Josh Casada, and Jeanette Epps, and JAXA astronaut Koichi Wakata will fly on Starliner 1. Also in November of 2021, 
The SpaceX Falcon 9 will launch a Dragon 2 freighter variant on the CRS-24 resupply mission to the International Space Station. It will be the fourth flight under the CRS contract out of six total. And a quick note, we hope you have enjoyed our content. Have we earned your subscription to our channel? If so, and you have not taken the opportunity to subscribe, please take a moment to do so now and click the bell notification icon so you don't miss upcoming videos. We want to continue delivering great content to you. You can always unsubscribe and subscribing is free. In addition to NASA's Crew-2 announcement, SpaceX set another milestone in announcing the first paid space tourism launch for the company. Jared Isaacman, the founder and chief executive of online payment processing company Shift for Payments, purchased the launch, scheduled for some time in the fourth quarter of 2021, assuming SpaceX's or NASA's other priorities do not intervene. Isaacman will be one of four people to fly in a Dragon 2, which will spend two to four days in low Earth orbit, but not dock with the International Space Station. Isaacman is calling the mission Inspiration 4 and is working with both his own company and St. Jude Children's Research Hospital to identify the other three people who will accompany him on the first all-civilian orbital spaceflight. Besides Isaacman, one of the three other passengers will be a healthcare worker at St. Jude who has apparently already been selected. The second person will be selected from what is effectively a raffle. People are to buy entries on the Inspiration 4 website with the money going to St. Jude. Isaacman said he expected that the contest will raise at least $100 million, plus $100 million he is donating directly to the hospital. The third person will be selected from a contest affiliated with Shift for Payments. Participants can start an online store using the company's platform and submit a video to be reviewed by a panel of celebrity judges, with the winner joining the crew of the mission. Regarding the physical requirements of being an astronaut on the Dragon 2, Musk said, quote, If you can go on a roller coaster ride, you should be fine for going on a Dragon. The official rules of Isaac Men's competition require candidates to be at least 18 years old, no taller than 78 inches, no heavier than 250 pounds, and be, quote, physically and psychologically fit for training at spaceflight. The rules also limit participation to U.S. persons, as defined under the International Traffic and Arms Regulations, which include citizens and permanent residents of the United States. Musk, though, seemed to think that others could fly. He said when asked about the limitation, quote, it's not out of the question someone who is not a U.S. citizen could fly. ITAR licenses can be and are issued by the U.S. State Department for non-citizens and foreign governments that use select sensitive technologies. Isaacman did not disclose how much he was paying for the flight or other expenses associated with the project, such as an ad that will air during the Super Bowl on February 7th. He said, quote, What we aim to raise in terms of those funds and the amount of good it will do will certainly far exceed the cost of the mission itself. Musk said commercial missions like this one will contribute to SpaceX's development of its Starship vehicle. SpaceX has agreements for other Crew Dragon commercial missions with Axiom Space and Space Adventures, with the Axiom Space AX-1 mission launching no earlier than January of 2022. Musk summed up the whole episode by saying, quote, We have to fund the Starship program somehow, and this mission will help fund the Starship program. What do you think about the Crew-2 mission with NASA and SpaceX's first private orbital mission? Share with us by dropping a comment below. We hope you enjoyed this 48th video short about space and tech on the Bladed Tech channel. And if so, click that like button. Links to some of our most recent episodes can be found in the description section below. You can peruse our entire 200 plus video library by looking at our playlists, which conveniently sort the videos by subject. We announce all new videos in our microblogging accounts, which are listed below, as well as in the community feed for this channel. Want to know how to navigate our channel content? We refer to RetroTech and Innovation documentary segments as episodes. Coverage of current events in space exploration, science, and technology are labeled as shorts. Space and tech history are documented in an anthology called Milestones. And gameplay recordings can be discovered on the Bladed Tech Gaming channel in videos called walkthroughs, and side missions. Stay connected by occasionally checking our Instagram feed, where we post content from our upcoming episodes and from episodes past that you may have missed. And finally, join us on our Facebook and Minds page, where we cover current news and events related to channel content. Thanks for watching.